And I think we both know what that are like. And then you had to pay the rent and you had to have some food. So you went back in the chorus. And um, I was going out with a fellow called Stanley Kubrick. Uh, <laughs> heard that name before. Yeah. And uh, he said to me, do you, do, do you like what you're doing? I was in the chorus. He had seen me. That's kind of funny. He had seen me uh, walking down the street, he said, and had asked about, who's that girl, you know? And, well, this is late at night. I can say what they told him. They uh, said, well, you really don't want to mess with her. Uh, her father married her sister, and she's a lesbian. So, um, Stanley, the sweetheart that he was, said, oh, now I know I want to know. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, he said to me, you know, I said, yeah, no, I, I'm not happy uh, being in the chorus, but I can't seem to get out of it. So he said, well, there's one way you get out of it, and that's not do it anymore. Really obvious answer, but I said, well, I, I, I don't know how do I live not doing it anymore. So he said, well, he had this company with Harris, and he said, we can put you on a minimum salary, but I think you ought to try it on your own. And there's a dramatic coach called Jeff Corey. The great Jeff Corey. The great Jeff Corey, yeah. yes, indeed. <laughs> and um, my dad was an anti-communist fighter, so I didn't think Jeff Corey was going to take too kindly to me since he lost his acting career. Right, had to become a <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> had to be, yeah. So, but anyway, I went on the interview, and to Jeff's credit, he judged me for myself, but not for my dad, and took me on. And that sort of led, segued into acting things. Right.